in the first class, we'll be moving to a new topic that is forming process. Going to the final unit of our syllabus. Come to the forming process. There are four Forming is the process actually that converts the objects into the required dimensional status. Either it may be processed by the execution of the external cutting process or else application of pressure, nothing but by the application of pressure. Third one is by the application of pressure plus as well as the temperature. Nothing but we'll be saying that as a resistance state of welding. In the conditions of welding strategy, we will be following that particular point. So, that is in the form of connectivity of the objects, either it may be of the similar kind or else the dissimilar kind of the materials. But here in the forming process, transferring of the materials from one dimensional status to the another dimensional status that actually we require as per the vendor specifications. Here, let us look about the forming process, nothing but in order to transfer the circular object, a particular diametric object which has been characterized into particular profile containing a gear manufacturer. Moving on to the basic introductionary part of the gear manufacturing. Normally, gears or the devices which are very widely utilized for transmission of the power from one element to the another element with the help of the linkage, such as a chain system. Usually, we use it to look up on different automobile applications, such as our gearboxes, oil engines, machine tools, agriculture machinery, geared motors. Industrial machinery, let's see for the some of the examples. In order to achieve the perfect velocity ratio and we need to satisfy service under the conditions, the case plays a major implication for reliable performance, high efficiency, economy, and high range, but having a good life or long life for the objects. Normally, this gears should be a cutting thread. Nothing but cutting, usually you know that the repeated stresses that are being imposed on the object. And usually it will be free from the high stresses. And nominally it have the resistance for having the frequent failure conditions. Normally, the gear drives should be manufactured or else should be kept in contact for, for the power transmission that in order to have no noise and strategy and ensuring that heaviest loads 
should be carried the two at a constant velocity ratio nominally hence in the our uh, dmm subject point of view also will be clearly specifying with respect to the mathematical relations that apart with the almost all the driving systems for power transmission between one object to the another object or directional changes of power from one direction or generated direction to the other directions the different connectivities will meet the desired specifications to be obtained or reliable specifications or conditions in order to achieve so hence the air manufacturing plays a major important role for having a better efficiency and high velocity ratio in order to transmit the pervious to loads without any slipping factor so these are the conditions that will be achieving by the gas and hence gear manufacturing has become a highly specialized field in the present day world and ruling in the automation technology auto mobile technology actually in different fields aviation technology train system railways roadways airways waterways and almost all the systems in some domestic purpose industrial purpose and medical fields and almost all the ages this gears systems are facing a major important role for the commencement of works coming to the manufacturing of gears we are having different processing operations which are having an end series of order that performing the blank without or with the teeth annealing of this blank as if it is required preparation of the gear blank to the required dimensions by the machining full or surface hardening of the machined gear producing the teeth or finishing the performed teeth by machining inspection and testing of the finished gears is of the different processing methods that are existing for manufacturing of the gas coming to the gear manufacturing it involves two different stages or normally we will be calling the main gear manufacturing classified into two main groups first one is the forming process and the second one is the machining process coming to the forming process it means getting the shape by the plastic deformation in which the volume remains approximately before and after the process there is nothing but changing of the shape plastically so plastical deformation in the sense permanent dimensions that will be getting achieved after the commencement of the working process normally in this 
the volume remains same even before the transmission and even after the achieving of under dimensional accuracies. So the weight factor will be the same or else the volume factor will be the same. As a best example, it will be consisting of the direct casting or the rolling process, which the highest diameter containing the rules will be reducing in its diameter and increasing in its length orientation. Powder metallurgy, injection molding, drying process, extrusion process, stamping, forcing, etc. of the tooth forms and molded powder and heat softened materials. Normally, the machining is the process which involves different process such as the finishing process and before that the cutting process, shaping, planing, roughing, slotting, broaching, welding, grinding, carving process, etc. will be considered for the MRR aspect conditions. Nothing but the material the removal conditions. Let's have a detailed look regarding the farming methods for game manufacturing. Initially, the earliest and oldest methodology existing for the manufacturing of gears or casting process. In this casting process, will be preparing the molds which are having whether it's permanent dimensions and with that sand molds the required as per the required material of the vendor the molten metal is prepared and is poured in the mold cavity in order to get the molded representation or a replica of the mold to be achieved by the gap. Cast iron gears are having nominally a rough in nature, particularly having less strength when compared to the mild steel and stainless steel. And that too, with some inaccuracies, when its dimensions will be occurring. Nominally, this is the process where it will be manufactured and obtained at a low economical range. Nothing but the manufacturing cost will be reduced, whereas the object after getting manufactured, its cost will be very much less. Finally, this casting process was preferred for manufacturing large sized gears that do cost and the power transmission or very much important than the operating accuracy and the noise levels.
and inclusion of uh, the sand casting. Even by including in the sand casting different uh, molding process, such as permanent mold casting, centrifugal casting, investment casting, and die castings, with major role in the case of the manufacturing of uh, the gears, different types of gears, by utilizing this casting process. Coming to the sand casting process, let's have the detailed characteristics and the types of materials that can be utilized for supporting the sand casting process and applications where we'll be utilizing this sand casting gas in the real-time fluids. Coming to its characteristics, the sand cast casting process is very much less in economical reach and even the quality of the gap is very much small and it is very much less you can compare and even this will be prepared in a small in number. Normally, the tooling costs are reasonable from the economical point of view. Nominally, it is very much poor energy surface finishing and dimensional accuracies. Because of its uh, low precision and uh, high back hash, there will be having a minimal or minute noises that will be continued throughout the operational process. These are suited, well suited for the non critical applications. The materials that are being utilized from the sand cost processing are cast iron, cast steel, branches, brass, and ceramics. Normally, uh, this sand casting process confined to large gas that are machined related to a required accuracy. Basically the sand casting is suitable or utilized for having without finishing operations. Most probably it is utilized for manufacturing the toys, small appliances will be utilizing in the case of our domestic aspects, cement mixer barrels, hoist gearbox of uh, dam gate lifting mechanism, hand operated crane, which we use fully verifying for. The material picking and uh, some distant processes. And for the die casting process, forcing the molten metal under a high pressure into the mold cavity, such as the injection molding range. Similarly, equal to the injection molding, is not to that much of it going to the Molding. Here, the molten metal will be existing in the furnace, which are having the greatest temperature range. And normally, the small cavity is being forcing into the mold cavity that to using the hardened steel dies which are having a particular gear shapes as per our required dimensions. Coming to its characteristics, 
having better surface finishing and accuracy than the sand casting process. Here, on the operational sectors will be having the high tooling class as well suited for the large scale of production. Coming to the materials, these are utilized in the case of this die casting process. Zinc, aluminium, brass, Least in the case of this die casting process. Normally, the gears which are manufactured from the die casting process, these are not used for high speeds and heavy tooth loading processes. Finally, these are applied for small size gears. The best examples or applications such as minimal instruments, such as the cameras, instruments are nothing but the measurable instruments, screw gears, micrometer. And the cameras, with a minimal zoom in and zoom out capabilities, business machines, washing machines, gear pumps, small speed reducers, and long hours. Coming to the investment casting process. Investment that clearly specifies that there's an arresting or else surrounding. Normally, it's a minimal technique for manufacturing small, accurate castings and refractory alloys that are using with respect to your mouse. Formed that too with respect to a wax or pattern, which are prepared with respect to the wax or similar materials. And after completion of that, those materials which are utilized for the preparation of these patterns will have to be removed by melting process, supplying of the heat and it has to be melted for removing with respect to the or detachment with respect to the standard material that we should have. Coming to its characteristics, because of utilizing this wax, we can achieve a reasonably accurate gas manufacturing in the case of this investment casting process. Moreover, it is applicable for a variety of materials with greater designs and difference or deviations in its dimensions. The refractory mold materials and it allows the high melting temperature materials Basically, the accuracy that is depends upon the original master pattern that we used for the models. The materials such as nitriding steel, vinyl, beryllium, copper, steel. 
are utilized in the case of this investment casting process. When compared to the die casting and sign casting process, this investment casting, the name itself clearly specifies the economical signalization that incrementing in the cost, that the production cost is high. And that too, this economical and complicated shape production. And into the rolling process, the straight and the helical teeth of this or rod type of external steel gas, which are displaying with the diagrams, that too, with respect to small and medium diameters that the modules nothing but the gear profiles with respect to a particular dimensional ratios which are generated either by the cold rolling or flat dice or circular dice considers in the case of this rolling process. Such kind of rolling imparts very high accuracy and surface integrity of tear normally formed by the material flow apart with respect to the cutting. So it is irrelevant with respect to the cutting process and due to the rolling over the materials, the impregnations will be getting achieved over the material. Nominally, this gear rolling is employed for high productivity and achieving the high quality with respect to the machinery costs are very much high. Very large size of uh, the gears are formed by the hard rolling process and then later on it is getting finished by reaching towards its Recrystallization temperature or is to the normal atmospheric range of temperatures. Coming to the powder metallurgy concept, it's a method of metal powder which is pressed in the dice in order to convert into tooth shape after the product is being sintered. Nothing but the powder that is at a proportional rate, it will be getting blended. Concerned solutions will be utilized for getting sintering concept. After sintering, the gear may be point so as to increase the density and surface finishing. Normally, this powder metallurgy concept is utilized for getting only the small gas. See the process of serial order, blended powder, nothing but one powder and another powder for getting the good bonding nature as blended with each other, utilizing the edible solutions up to a required quantity. And compacted reset tooling, which is used for pressing, getting the pre sintering concept application of this pressing concept over here. And repress or twining. Recentering concept, incorporation of this bonding heavily, and 
finally, the gears will be getting manufactured. So it is characteristics. Its accuracy in the case of this manufacturing criteria will be very much similar to the die casting of gears. Material properties are tailor made. Normally, these are uh, suited for small size of gears. Economical for large, large size only. Secondary machining is not at all required. Moreover, these kinds of uh, metallurgy concepts will be utilized in the case of high quality gas manufacturing, application and toys, instruments, small motor drives, etc. Come to the injection molding concept, producing of the parts by the injection molding as the material is transferred to the mold and the cost heavy. Moreover, the material for the part is spread into the heating barrel which is having utilized for combining with respect to the screws is injected into the mold cavity and getting the required shapes and after entering the material it will be getting cooled and hardens in order to achieve the configuration of the gap. Typically such kind of uh, processes in such a injection molding process, low precision gears that do in a small dimensional accuracy will be getting achieved. Which are having the greatest advantages, such as less in economical point of view and having the great ability to run without lubricant even at the light loads of materials. Going to the type of materials that are placed in the case of this induction molding or the nylon, cellulose, acetate, polystyrene, polymide, Phenolics, glasses, and mostly thermoplastic and thermosetting polymers will be utilized in the case of this injection molding for getting the shapes as per the requirements. Most probably, the applications of this injection molding are used in cameras, receptors windshield wipers, speedometers, long sprinklers, and washing machines. Cold drawing process, which are used. Cold in the sense, the normal, in the normal atmospheric range of temperature, the operational process will be getting done. Here, the bar which is being existing in between this dice will be getting drawn from the external side by decreasing with its diametrical concept. The materials such as brass, high carbon steels, bronze, aluminium, stainless steel, steel, plus a major range in order to commence this kind of cold drying process. For the transferring the material from one shape to the other shape. So farming is the technique that changing of its dimensions from one to another. The typical kind of applications are here, the manufacturing of these watches, electrode blocks, spring wound blocks, typewriters, taximeters, cameras, slot machines, etc. This major role in the case of this cold drawing process. 
normally this extrusion is the type of process which is progressed with respect to the temperature characteristics. The extrusion is nothing but with respect to the RAM, nothing but our injection process. So applying the pressure at the RAM for injecting the material to form with respect to the finite shapes. And the teeth of long rods are also used to get prepared here, which are getting a good surface finishing. Finally, the materials such as aluminum, copper, naval brass, ferrous metals, phosphorus, bronze will be utilized. Well, most probably the applications such as plain, aloe, and solid shafts and sector gears are manufactured in the case of this extrusion process, stamping process. It's an uh, easy process and uh, used for key cutter, similar with respect to key cutter. Normally, metal is placed in between top and uh, bottom portions of the type, and upper die will be getting pressed, and so that the lower sections and will be attaining with respect to the required dimensions. Normally, there's a low cost at the base of this operational methodology. Be producing lightweight of gears on the profound demands of and even the thickness also will be very much less in the case of this manufacturing processes. The materials used in this platform are this low and medium carbon steels, brasses, aluminium alloys, etc. Materials such as toys, clocks, and type of mechanisms, watches, etc., will be placing in as a role for manufacturing in the case of this stamping process. The rest of the whole working process we will be discussing in the 